efforts have broken out in this particular year. Russia started from there, even to Azerbaijan and Armenia, and, uh, and the Guyana and the Venezuela. So all kinds of uh, things which were lying dormant uh, seem to be coming up. Of course, we can attribute it to the emergence of a new world order, or the pangs of a birth of a new world order. Well, that is my fear, because we thought 2023, 2023 would be a peaceful kind of, uh, you know, regeneration and the reconciliation and all that. But that turned out to be worse than 2022. And uh, more uh, wars are broken out in this particular year. With Russia starting from there, even to Azerbaijan and Armenia and, uh, and the Guyana and the Venezuela. So all kinds of uh, things which were lying dormant uh, seem to be coming up. Of course, we can attribute it to the emergence of a new world order or the pangs of a birth of a new world order. Because no country seems to be happy with its own situation. Then even the Americans are not happy with what they are. So, so everyone wants a change in the world order. But in what direction will it go? Will it go as, uh, say, democracies versus autocracies? Or will it go like, uh, as, you know, um, poorer countries against richer countries because of the resources? Will it be oil? All that we do not know. But uh, the, the general churning that is taking place has not yet thrown up anything. The Amrath is yet to come. Meanwhile, everyone is trying to do, uh, you know, what we call the uh, kind of uh, balancing rather than taking specific positions. And so this has happened after some time. We are seeing some, some elements of it. India has become closer to the US as a result of this. Um, then, um, China and Russia have become allies. And so these are major changes in the, in the situation. So the Quad is a, is a factor. Uh, China is concerned about uh, Quad and the AUKUS and all that. So nobody is really committing themselves to a particular position because the whole thing is in a state of flux. is uh, the most difficult, uh, what shall we say, arena at this moment uh, because changes after uh, the UK left the European Union and uh, then the Russia-Ukraine conflict and the need for Europe to be unified against Russia. Therefore, relations with Russia has deteriorated with many of these countries. European countries, so any kind of detente which had appeared in Europe has now disappeared. So that's also part of the, uh, the issue of the problem. And the Americans are not as involved in Europe as they used to be. They had withdrawn some support and presence and so on. So um, they are not allowing Ukraine to join. NATO. So there are others who have joined NATO and all those are collect and gathering momentum for Russia to do something. So Europe is very much in the, at the center of a possible conflict at the moment. Not like before, Europe enjoyed peace 
for a long time, after 400 years of war. But now they seem to be though, the Western Alliance is fairly well established. But the amount of money that the US is willing to invest in the security of Europe has also been a question. Where will UK go? All these have uh, become a challenge to Europe. Stay with the Times of India for news breaks, analysis, interviews and events. We bring you stories from your neighbourhood and from across the globe as well. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the like button and press the bell icon so you don't miss any of our videos.